Hey guys, what's up? So here's a little update on my game. Um, this video will be a bit longer, but yeah. So you can choose different languages. I have so far like almost all of these. For example, German, Neue Spiel, or I don't know, uh, Chinese. I don't know what it says, I can't read Chinese. But yeah, some of my friends helped me translate, so it's really cool. Like even Polish and so yeah, whatever. I guess, what is this? Portuguese, I guess. Yeah, but I'll be back in English because probably most of you speak English. So let's just start a new game. I'll just play up until the end and yeah. So it's pretty much still the same intro and uh oh yeah up here in the left corner you can ignore that that's just for me for debugging stuff like to see how strong his attack is his defense and his position on maps um a new thing is like if if you kill yourself so i'll just jump here into the hole you see his hp is gone and at the beginning of the game it will just reload so you have a chance to like play again these this first level up until the boss, so I'll just... Ah, that's his level up animation. Everything on screen, like, stops moving when you level up. Maybe I can actually show you that somehow. Yeah, see, here's there's two zombies. And if I kill the one, and then level up... See, he's paused for a second, so you have a chance to level up in peace without taking damage. Every time you level up, you get all of your HP back. So, yeah. Watch this. Fall damage. Okay. Um, we're almost at the boss. Again, just ignore all of this stuff up here on the left. And at any time... I still have to fix this. I know it's all shifted to the left. But at any time, you can change the language. So just by pausing. You can switch to French. Or German or whatever. Yeah. I can, I'll show that in the town. When I get to the town, I'll show you an example like of different dialogue and whatever. So here comes the boss. I think you may have seen this already. He's just a crazy horse who spawns yeah. zombies. He's not too hard if you know his pattern, which is just jump over him and smack him in the head like crazy like I'm doing when the zombies spawn you have like one second of invincibility I think also if you pause everything should pause yeah we can try when the horse comes yeah as you can see everything on screen pauses correctly and yeah um he's almost dead I could just one child now Nice, I leveled up. And, um, yeah, he drops, like, this heart container thing. If you notice up here, he has right now um, 55 HP. And the heart just gives you plus 100, like, permanently. And, yeah. If a curious player wants to go back, he can't. So it's kind of forcing you just to go right, because there's, like, a wall here. You cannot go this way. So, yeah. Let's just run all the way over. And then you come to the save area. Yeah, it's like a saving stone. When you touch it, you tempor temporarily you cannot move and it saves. And then, yeah, that's... I can show you that it actually works by um, killing the game. And then just... This is Construct 2, so just starting it again. And it says loading. And then instead of showing you the title screen again, it just takes you right to the save point because... Yeah, I think it's annoying that you have to click continue and yeah, it's just easier just to go straight to the save. This is the overworld I have on the map. Um, it's kind of like an RPG where you walk around and you can always go back and save your game here. And yeah, here I can I can prove it once again. This time he was facing left when I saved the game and yeah, it should actually save everything. Just it saves the state of where it was last. See, he's facing left. Okay. 
So um, the next thing is, if you wander around, there are random battles. You'll see it in a second. Come on. There we go. It's pretty high right now. And in the random battles, there's zombies, like the regular ones, and also different color swap zombies, which are five times harder than the regular one. So you have to, like, hit them a lot of times. And they also give five times experience and five times gold. So, yeah, you saw I leveled up. But they're pretty rare. They're just randomly going to be there. The idea right now is to grind a bit. So I'll show you. At any time, you can just leave the random battle by going to the left or the right. There's a cave here. But he says, like, need a key. You cannot enter it yet. The door is closed. So, yeah. The only way to get a key is to buy one. But it's kind of expensive. I have 800 gold, but you need, like, um, a lot more. You need 2,500. And he says, like, you're a bit short of coin when you try to buy it. But you can, for example, buy the axe upgrades. You see? And his attack is going up by 10. Now he's at 64 attack. And I wanted to show you this. Let's say we put it in, I don't know, Chinese. And then we go back and talk to this guy. As you can see, like, all of it's in Chinese now. Which is pretty cool. Or, I don't know, um, what language? French? The same thing. It's all in French. Yeah, so, that's pretty cool. And there's a big thank you to my translators. They're all my friends and stuff. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave and grind a little bit. Because you need to get some money for this cave. And to walk around is just, you touch and he goes to that point. So, like, if I touch here, he's gonna walk all the way over to the... Okay, well, random battle. Oh, now, now he's doing a lot more damage. Because I bought some axe upgrades. So, just one sec. I will kill that. My phone was ringing. And here you can see he has, like, XP and stuff. Yeah. Call him back. Let's grind a little bit. I can also just cheat it. I will, okay, because it takes too long for a video. So I will just cheat it because I have like um, testing mode on. I believe if we go into town. And yeah, okay, normally you, the player, this is gonna be obviously disabled, but for now, like the, you can just double click here and just give yourself some gold so I can save some time and actually show you. Um, First, let's make his attack a lot stronger because you're gonna need a lot of attack. Okay, that's actually pretty good. And now we need like this much for the key. The game saves because actually a friend of mine who was testing Bought the key, and then he died in the cave, and he had to redo everything. Which is a little bit dumb, but now it saves after you buy the key, because it's quite expensive. So we head over to the cave, and because we have the key, we can enter. And the cave is really dark, and there's a new enemy. This guy. Alright, we killed him. So, as you can see, I was only doing something like 50 damage, because he has like 100 defense. So... People who will enter the cave will quickly see um, that if they did not buy axe upgrades, that the skeletons will be, like, really difficult to kill. Yeah, so, anyways. So, just to force them to grind a little bit. Aw, oh, man. So, so, my friend just keeps calling me. Just ignore that. A little animation where he dies. Yeah. Oh, there you see it. I got... Well, yeah, because I didn't actually level up. I only increased his attack. He can um, one-shot me. So let's try this again. Ooh, okay, I found a bug just now with the music. Okay, I'll fix that. Okay. Now I leveled up. I'll try to be more careful get through the cave. The cave is really dark. It's kind of hard to uh, see where you're going. 
And that's on purpose, you know, to add some challenge. Add some scary elements. Okay, we killed the skeleton. Whoa, don't want to get killed. Okay. There's another save point inside the cave because the cave is quite hard. And save points restore all of your hit points. So. Oh, shit. So I took. I nearly died just now. See how much damage they do? They do a lot, so. Whoa. There we go. But they also give quite a lot of experience points, so. We're almost out. Just gotta jump carefully, and we're out of the cave. So now is the next overworld. Um, let me just save real quick so I don't have to go through the cave again. A new save area. Here you can see his HP will be restored to full. He also recovers HP like every five seconds or something. He gets like one HP back. If you go here, you can see... Actually, not really. Oh, now I went back into the cave. Whoops. Let me go back out. Mm, what I wanted to show you... Maybe you cannot really see it, but yeah, there's the other cave is here where my mouse is and you just cross the the river. And for now, there's just a town, but there will come more stuff I can show you. Yeah, the town actually looks quite similar. And there's a guy who gives you hints. He sells you a hint for 50. So there's something in the old castle, like just to give you an idea of where you should go next. The merchant also just like upgrade. We can actually do that real quick. So I upgrade my axe even further. Um, yeah. Oh, whoops. I walked right back into the town. So this whole map is there to explore. Um, if we go up north a little bit, there's a castle. And this is going to be the first area on this in huge map, which you must explore a little bit to the... Okay, random battle. I'll just run out. <sighs> Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Okay. Let's get out of there. Um, can I walk over here? Over here is a uh, swamp. Right now, you cannot go into it because I didn't actually program that stuff yet. And to the south um, west of the town is a mountain range. So it's a little bit of like exploration involved. So. Yeah. And right now I'm working on the castle, and after I finish pretty much those three things, the the castle, the mountain range, and um, the swamp, then I will release the game because, yeah, I want to see if people will actually play this kind of game. Otherwise, I put, like, a lot of time on building it, and then no one plays it in the end. So, yeah, it's kind of like pre-releasing it. Ah, I should move those trees because he's always trying to get back into town. Yeah, just little, little bugs. If I go here, yeah. Ah! Let me shrunk the screen. Let's just save the game real quick once more. It's kind of the same environment, just different color. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And yeah, leave your comments and questions below. And I'll try to answer them. Thanks and have a nice day. Bye.